Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. Welcome to an hour of chair yoga. And we're going to be spending half of the time in the chair, half of the time down on the earth. If the earth feels a little bit too far away from you, you can always bring the earth to you by using a bed or a reclined chair instead. Somewhere that you feel comfortable. For today, I have a blanket here, um, and we're going to be using that as we come down to the earth. A folded towel, even a pillow, that, a soft pillow that you can fold into, anything that you have handy, it doesn't really necessarily need to be a blanket, but I wanted to um, mention that at the beginning. We will have a pause in between coming down to the earth, so it's a great time to either go grab it now or take it um, take that pause to go grab it later on making sure that you have a chair that's comfortable solid enough that you feel stable on it and a little bit of space around you so you're not bumping yourself today's practice is going to be heart centered really tapping in through the heart and feeling into things rather than using our mind so from here, we're going to come to a comfortable place for you. I encourage you to decide whether you want to sit into the support at the back of your chair or if you want to sit away from it, supporting your own spine. One is not better than the other. It's just different for your comfort. Feet at a comfortable distance for you, whether you've got shoes on, socks on, or bare feet or anything else. Root down through your feet, evenly left to right as best as you can. You can pick up the toes if you like, spread them really nice and wide. Even pick up the balls of the feet and stretch through the soles of the feet. And then we'll take the balls of the feet down if they were lifted, keeping those toes nice and wide, fanned out. And then allowing the toes to gently soften down to the earth like snowflakes. Take your awareness down to the surface underneath your feet. Noticing that your feet are being held in space here. And allow the muscles of your legs to soften, to allow yourself really to sit into that support. Nicely done. Taking your awareness up to where your seat meets the chair. Same thing here. Noticing if you're shifted more to the left or right, to the front or back, and see if you can even that up as best as you can. And then we acknowledge the chair underneath us and allow the upper body to really soften into the chair. So we're really allowing ourselves to be supported, feet and seat here. And if you're sitting into the back of your chair, allow yourself to be supported by the back of your chair. You might notice as you do that, pockets of tightness and tension that you weren't aware of that you can actually release, especially around the lower abdominal area, the lower back area. Gently push down into your feet about 5% of your energy. Same into your seat and from there there's a rising a with a rebounding up through the spine. Allow the heart to open as you lift the crown of the head up towards the sky, tucking the chin a little so the back of the neck is long. Shoulders roll back and down a couple of times. And as you do that, really feel into that heart space, feel into the front and upper chest space and allow the shoulders to sit down away from the ears when it feels right for you. We have this beautiful open heart. Now notice if, by putting your awareness on your heart, you're flaring your mid to lower abdominals out. Knit the front ribs in, but lift up through the heart space. So we get a long spine, but this beautiful width across the chest. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Exhale, soften and relax any areas of tension. So we keep the shape 
And on the exhales, just let go, dissolving anything that doesn't need to be there. And I highly recommend from here, lowering your gaze, softening your gaze, or closing your eyes. It's a great way of turning off the sight to go inward. So we pay a little bit more attention to what's happening inside. So lowering the gaze, softening the gaze, or closing the eyes, whichever is more comfortable for you. Let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. And then notice in this moment, what's on your mind? You might have thoughts of the day, either the day that's already gone, the day that's coming. You might have particular thoughts about something in the future or something that is very present for you that you keep going over from the past. Without any judgment, just simply be aware of what's there in your thoughts. And then slide your awareness, kind of like a pebble sinking down to the bottom of a puddle. Down into the heart space. And notice, simply notice that heart space. And don't be surprised if your awareness bobs right the way back up to your head. And just on an exhale, allow the awareness to sink down into the heart space as best as you can. And just notice how your heart space feels. It might be a physical sensation. It might be that emotions, feelings come up. You might not be able to really tap into it and that is exactly why we're doing, or why we're focusing on the heart today. See if you can tune into the heart space so much, you might even be able to hear or sense your heart beating. Not judging, simply noticing, witnessing with a curiosity. And then from that heart space, open your awareness out into your whole body, from the crown of your head down to the soles of your feet. Notice the energy levels you're working with today and anything else you notice about your body. Again, leaving judgment and stories to one side as best as you can and really paying attention to this moment. Start to tune in to your breath. The inhale and the exhale, maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. Starting to deepen the inhale, lengthening the exhale in your own way. No wrong way to breathe. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you. If it's not comfortable, find your easiest breath. Deepening and lengthening. And then with that different rhythm, starting to steady the breath up to the in, top of the inhale, down to the bottom of the exhale. Beautiful. So we've got this steady, smooth rhythm of breath. Letting go of any forcing, any straining of the breath. So we come back to a place that it's sustainable, that it feels comfortable in your body to breathe just like that. And then dipping your awareness right into your heart space. Again, eyes lowered, closed or soft. And try and picture, imagine, or sense the very center of your heart space. 
very different from the actual physical heart or maybe the same for you. Imagine, sense, or feel the very center of your heart space. And start to blend that awareness of the heart space with the breath that is coming and going. And imagining right in the center of that heart space wherever you've chosen or found a place and there's no wrong place to be so you're not looking for something that is specific to everybody. You're looking for something that feels like the center of your heart space for you and you alone. And that might be a little lower down, it might be a little higher up, it might be towards the back of your body, the front of your body. There is no wrong way and if you're not sure, just choose a place. With your awareness in that chosen place, imagine there as best as you can a little seed of light, a little seed of light. And on the inhale, that seed grows and expands. And on the exhale, that expansion softens back into that seed. And maybe that seed of light changes to the size of a walnut or maybe it expands through your whole chest and heart space go at your own rhythm imagine sense and feel into it and come up with a size that that naturally grows to and softens back into that seed with every breath And imagine that expanding in every direction, as if it was a sphere. So not just a circle in the heart space, but actually moving through the back of the body, the front of the body. And you might, as you do that, as we monitor the breath and imagine that space expanding and contracting with the breath, you might get a deeper sense of where that center of your heart space is. And as we practice this, that sphere might get bigger and, some, and sometimes, and it might get smaller, contracting in its own way. There's no wrong way to do this. So this is breathing from the very center of that heart space in your own rhythm in that steady breath. Starting to notice and work with the expansion of the heart space. And you might notice that if you imagine that to get really big, that it feels a little strained. And maybe for you it doesn't. But staying within uh, expansion and contraction that really feels like it's sustainable, just like the breath feels sustainable for you. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back to this heart breath as if we're really breathing from the center of our heart space. As we open up through this heart space today. So we'll root down, feet and seat to rise keeping that expansion and contraction in the heart space, that focus with breathing, rolling the shoulders back and down so we get this beautiful broadening across the heart space as those front ribs are knitted in. And then from here, we're gonna take the nose over towards the right side, drawing that left shoulder back a little. So again, we keep that openness. This is the exhale. On the inhale, we'll lift the chin, lengthen through the back of the neck and over to the left. And inhaling up through center and over to the right. as if we're tracing a rainbow with our nose in the air. Inhaling and exhaling. And let 
let's do one more either side at your own pace. We're really staying connected to that heart space. And at the end of the exhale, whichever side you're on, let's pause there, broaden across that beautiful heart space of yours. This is now the inhale on the exhale. Let's draw the chin down towards the chest and up the other side. And exhaling down to the earth and inhaling up the other side. So now with the tip of your nose, you're creating the shape of a smile in the air. Shoulders back over the hips. Noticing how you experience this in your body. Keep that expansion and contraction in the heart space connected in your awareness. And then the next time the chin comes down to the, just the chest, let's keep it there for three breaths. Expansion and contraction right in that heart space with the breath. Don't forget the back body here. And on the next inhale, we'll draw the crown of the head up towards the sky. Dropping the arms down either side, nice and soft, rolling those shoulders back and down just a couple of times, rooting to rise. And again, that always staying connected to that expansion and contraction with the breath. Taking both shoulders on the inhale, up towards the ears, exhaling round and down, whichever direction you're going in. Maybe those arms get very involved because that feels really good to you. Or keeping the arms closer towards your ribs. Whatever feels good. There's no wrong and right way to do this. This is your way working with your body. And notice wherever you are when the shoulders, shoulder blades come back towards each other whichever direction you're going in, that openness through the chest. And let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction, staying connected as you breathe, as you move to the center of your heart space there. Noticing how very different this direction may feel for you. No judgment, just a curiosity. Steadying the breath, smoothing the breath. Feeling into this. And one of your next exhales, let's come back to center. Shoulders again, resting over the hips more or less, turning the palms up. Don't worry about the angle, but this feels comfortable for you. From the elbows, on the inhale, that expansion as we lift the fingertips, exhale, fingertips lower. Great place to be right here, palms up on the inhale, palms down on the exhale. Again, noticing how that feels in that heart space. Option to stay there, option to start to move from the shoulders, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs, nice and soft. Maybe those fingers come up overhead, maybe they do not. And on that inhale, filling up through the heart space, and on the exhale, allowing that sense of softening. Great place to be right here. Just the arms lifting and lowering. If you want to add on that connection to the heart space, let's inhale, fingers come to any height, palms come together, exhale, drawing it down through to the heart center. Inhaling, sweeping up and round any height, exhaling, those palms come towards each other and back down towards the heart. Feeling that expansion as we sweep the arms up and round. You can do the same thing if you're moving from the elbows, inhaling, hands to heart center, exhaling down and round. Going at your own pace. Let's do another three more unless you're resting. Keeping those front ribs knitted in. Last one here. Hand 
hands coming down to rest through the heart space if they weren't already thumbs towards the sternum or towards that breastplate there and just come back to the breath as we root to rise keeping the heel of the hand in towards each other. On the inhale, let's expand the hands out like a cup. So the thumb and the um, pinky finger stay together. We're spreading the fingers out like a flower. That's the inhale. Exhale, taking the fingers, the palms back together. Right at the heart space there. This is a lotus mudra. A mudra is a movement very much like the movements we do with our body, but just connected with the hands. Smooth the movement out. So the mudra, that opening and closing of the mudra blends with your breath. And let's take one more here and hold those fingers open like a flower, like a lotus flower and breathe three breaths here really staying connected to that heart space the mudra of opening beautifully done and then we'll take those hands back into heart center coming into seated cat and cow here we can start with the hands down and then we'll add on the hands later Rooting to rise on the inhale. The heart opens out. So the front ribs are flaring here. We've got an arch in the back. Keeping the chin neutral on the exhale. Fingertips come towards the knees as we round through the back body. Gentle movement on the inhale. The shoulder blades are coming towards each other on the back body. Exhale, they're sliding away from each other. Inhaling and exhaling, great place to be. If you want to add the hands, we're gonna take those hands back into heart center. On the inhale, meet the heart with the thumb. As we arch on the exhale, send the fingertips towards the front of the screen and round, taking the hands in front of you, nice bent elbows or towards straight. Inhaling and exhaling. You can, of course, add the chin here as we lift up through the back of the neck, lift the chin on the inhale. Exhale, the chin comes down towards the chest as we lower the gaze, or maybe you have your eyes closed or soft. Great place to be. Every inhale, we're bringing the awareness all the way back into that heart space as it expands. On the exhale, pushing towards each other. We can add that lotus flower. Inhaling, we're opening up through the heart space and through that lotus mudra. On the exhale, fingertips coming towards each other in a way. Option to stay here, option to add on. After the next exhale, we're going to sweep the arms wide and back behind us. They can be high, they can be low, but no more than shoulder height. That's the inhale. On the exhale, fingers come back towards each other. And on the next inhale, hands come into heart center, maybe the lotus mudra. Exhale, sending the fingertips forward. Inhale wide. Exhale forward. Inhale to heart. Exhale forward. Inhale wide, exhale forward, and continue in your own rhythm. Stay connected into the heart space. Every inhale, that expansion. Every exhale, the softening. Play with the breath. The breath guides the movement. And let's take three more full movements here through the whole expanse. Rest if that feels better for you. Adjust the movement for you. Adjust it for your rhythm and your body. Last one, more or less. And whenever the hands come back into that heart space. 
Take a breath there. And on that exhale, the hands come down to rest. Big, beautiful breath in here. Exhale it out, nice and soft. Beautifully done. Taking the hands either side of you, rolling the shoulders back and down. Imagining that wall behind you, base of your skull, shoulder blades in the back of your pelvis leaning up against it. So for a lot of us, we're gonna feel like we're leaning back in space more than we normally do. Wide on the collarbones, and as if we're sliding on a wall, this is the inhale. Exhale, we're dipping those right fingertips down. Left hip is heavy to the earth here, or heavy to the chair, and the left shoulder drawn back. Inhaling up through center, exhaling to the other side, pushing down through the right hip, right shoulder drawn back. So we keep that openness through the heart as we get length on one side and compression on the other. Keep both sitting bones rooted to the chair, even if it means it's so tempting as we reach to let one hip lift or float just a little. But then we're getting the pelvis involved, so we really want to keep that range of motion through the spine for that functional movement. Let's take another two either side, being very mindful of the pelvis. Notice if you need to adjust something for your body, keep those collarbones broad so the chest space is open, but the front ribs knitted in so we're not overarching the back. And then we'll come up to a central place. Big breath in. On the exhale, let's take the hands back down to support. Coming into a gentle twist, leading from the heart. So we're rooting to rise. This is the inhale on the exhale, twisting to the left. Right hand comes forward, lead with the heart around to the right side and inhale back to center. As on the left side, sorry, <laughs> um, I'm mirroring you. This is the inhale on the exhale. Left shoulder comes back, right shoulder comes forward as we lead with the heart, the gaze comes to the side and back to center. Perfect place to be. If you want to take the gaze over that left shoulder, then please do. Notice if as you twist that right hip is snuggling forward, see if you can keep those sitting bones really connected down to the chair. Great place to be right here. If you want to, open it up. We'll take that left arm forward on the inhale. We're gonna sweep that arm back behind you. If you've got a wall back here, just like me, you can bend the elbow. And coming back through center. Hand can be anywhere near um, hip height, shoulder height, but no more. And we get this beautiful opening through the chest. And again, I'm gonna show it from the side. You can either sweep the arm round if that feels comfortable for you, or if you have um, less space, then bend the elbow, bringing it back to center. And let's take another three here. And again, making sure that that right hip is not snuggling forward. Leading through the heart space. After that last exhale, we're coming back through center. Taking the hand down, and we're just gonna open up through the palm. We'll allow that to come up through the shoulder so the left shoulder blade comes in towards the spine. And then we'll rotate round in the other direction. And you'll notice this is coming from the shoulder here, releasing and relaxing any tension, never forcing. Beautiful. Hands come back to the top of the legs or the arms of the chair. And we're rooting to rise. Steady the breath, coming to the other side. This is the inhale on the exhale, leading with the heart. Right shoulder comes back, left shoulder forward, and we twist, inhaling back through center. The hands are gliding forward and back towards and away from the pelvis as you see fit. You can take the gaze over that right shoulder if that feels okay in your neck, making sure the left hip is not snuggling forward. So firming that left foot on the floor to anchor the pelvis. Same thing, other side. If you want to add the arms, this is the inhale on the exhale, like sweep the arm round and back. 
and inhaling back through center. Again, adjusting it for your body. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice that this side may feel very different from the other side. Beautifully done. Let's take another three here. You can always rest. Mm -hmm. And staying for that last one. Coming all the way back through center, taking the right hand down, and we're going to do the same thing. Pivot the palm up, maybe even back behind you, and then twist all the way through the shoulder. So if you put your left hand on that shoulder, you'll notice that joint is moving forward and back as we open and close, releasing tension there. Beautiful. Giving that a little wiggle. Hands coming back to support. And we'll take those feet a little bit wider. If you need more support, please come back on your chair. If you need less support, we're coming forward. Ankles more or less under the ankle, uh, under the knees. So they're not at funny angles there. That means that we have a little bit more stability. Making sure if you rock from side to side that you do feel stable. If you need more stability, come back in the chair. Connect to that expansion and softening in the heart space. Melt that expansion and softening with the breath itself. And you might even start to feel an expansion more than the heart space. You might feel it around your ribs. Don't forget about the back body, not just the front body. You might feel it in your shoulders. You might even feel it in the crown of your head. And you might simply want to stay with imagining that seed opening up and contracting on the exhale. Fingertips resting on the inside of the thighs from the heart space, starting to bring the heart forward. So now we've got an arch in the back, that's the inhale. On the exhale, rolling round and back as if you're drawing the back of the heart towards the back of the chair. We're gonna rotate round from the heart. We normally do this from the lower ribs. Now allow that expansion as the heart comes forward and feel into that softening as the heart comes back. Inhaling and exhaling. And we're getting a good sense of our inner heart space here as we move around in space. You can get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved, the pelvis involved, anything that feels really good to you here. It's more of an intuitive movement with as much flow as you can find. And then when you're ready, after the next exhale, we will pause and then take that round in the opposite direction. And again, hula hooping round from the heart space here. Feel that expansion of the seed in your heart on the exhale, coming back and softening. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautifully done. Let's take another three here unless you're resting. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back through center, rooting to rise. And then from here, we're gonna take those feet more into a parallel, washing the knees side to side here. Coming back through a central place, bring the hands down or maybe even one or both hands over the heart space here, inhaling, expanding, exhaling, softening. And if you wish to, we can come back into that lotus mudra, thumb to, thumbs towards the heart, thumbs and pinky fingers stay towards each other like a cup. 
can keep the hands wide or this could be the inhale exhaling bringing the palms back towards each other inhaling expanding on that inhale allow the heart to open up and on the exhaling that softening that doing less and let's take three more breaths here Stay for one more breath, whenever that is for you. And exhale, the hands come back towards each other, rooting to rise. Tuck the chin a little and just steady the breath. And see if you have more of a sense in that heart space, what we focus on, we feel. Staying there for as long as you like. And then resting the hands down in your own time. I will meet you down on the earth. And again, if you want to bring the earth to you, a sofa, a reclined chair on your bed. And then we're going to need that rolled towel or blanket. And I'll see you there. Hello. Back again. Here we are down on the earth. And I have my blanket or towel. I'm going to take it as wide as the mat and then from here I'm going to start to roll it up a nice firm roll making sure there aren't any creases because we're going to be feeling that and again making sure it's as wide as your mat so if you have a towel or even a pillow that you want to fold in half then anything that's handy really I just happen to have a blanket and I'm going to be placing this to the side. We're going to be using that in a moment. So first of all, coming down onto the back body, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Feet around about a hip distance. I'm going to pick up the hips and just shift them a little bit closer towards the heels so we get this length through the spine. Rolling one shoulder blade and then another just softly underneath you so we get this openness through the heart, which essentially is a different way of rooting to rise. So we're getting that length and then broadening across the collarbones. Hands resting wherever they happen to be and if you need to adjust your stance in any way, please do. Tucking the chin a little so the back of the neck is long and then we breathe. And notice if you can sense or feel into or choose that place that feels like the very center of your heart space. And we'll come back to that steady rhythm of expansion and softening. You might get a, a more of a sense in your heart space now, or it might simply be in your imagination. Once you've established the breath, We'll take the palms either side of your hips as wide as you like to connect those shoulders down to the earth. So the wider they are, the easier that is to do. So you get to choose. Palms down. Rooting down through both feet, keeping those toes nice and soft though, so no gripping there. On the inhale, I'm going to be pushing into both feet and lightening through the pelvis or just hovering the pelvis, that's the inhale. On the exhale, we're um, sending it down. Inhaling, lightening or hovering the pelvis, exhaling down. See if you can notice if you're pushing more into one foot than the other, see if you can even that up, not just through the heels, but also the balls of the feet inside and the outside edges of the feet as evenly as possible. We get a bit more stability there. And then the option, <clears throat> excuse me, the option is to lift a little higher. But this is not about height. What we want is the flow, inhaling and exhaling. And we've got, of course, the core is very active here as we keep that spine in one line. Inhaling and exhaling, making sure we're not overarching the back or rounding the back so it's quite neutral, belly's drawn in, protecting that lower back. 
Option to lift a little higher still. Option not to, you get to decide. Again, we want the flow of the movement rather than the height. And you can stay here or next time we lift, we stay three breaths. Now really connect into that hot space and steady the breath. Expansion and contraction. Adjust anything to feel good for you. Really connect right into that hot space here. And then stay for the last inhale and on the exhale and then taking that pelvis all the way down. Send the heels out towards the edges of your mat. Knock the knees together. Take the arms in a cactus or a T if that feels comfortable for you or keep them down by your hips and we breathe. Nice, steady the breath if it elevated. And then the next thing we do is we're gonna roll to one side, whichever side feels good. And we're going to come all the way up. Taking that beautifully rolled towel or blanket across your mat. And it's going to be um, right underneath your shoulder blades here. For some of you, because of the, um, it might feel more comfortable to have a pillow underneath your head, but I'm gonna show what it's like without a pillow and then you get to decide. So, setting up for where we just came from. Lowering down, kind of shimmying yourself so that blanket or towel meets across the shoulder blades and the shoulders are coming down over it. So adjusting that in any way you can, making sure it is even across the body, that it's not kind of on a diagonal. And then from here, if the throat is tight and feels uncomfortable, having a pillow underneath your head for some of us can feel a lot better, that can even shimmy down. Um, that pillow can shimmy down to touch on um, the shoulders or even underneath the shoulders. We get this openness through the chest. Now, as we're going to be here for a little bit, if this is unsustainable in your body, then what, what we can do is put less of a roll there underneath the shoulder blades. So the softer that is, the less of the heart opening you'll get. So you get to decide what feels good for you. And once we're down and feel like it's comfortable, hands can be wherever it suits you. Knees knocking towards each other, ankles a little wider. It's a great place to be here, especially for the lower back. Option to take a bolster or a pillow underneath the back of the legs or the knee, or you can lengthen if that feels okay in your body you get to choose. Shoulders are soft here and we get this beautiful opening across the chest. Soften the gaze, close the eyes or lower the gaze. And then take the awareness all the way back into your chosen center of that heart space. And then on the inhale, this expansion, on the exhale, that steady, contraction and softening. If this is uncomfortable in any way, you're rolling to one side and coming out, either adjusting the size of that roll or just resting onto your back, any other movement that feels good to you. Softening on that exhale. Every exhale, imagine your bones getting a little heavier, the muscles and joints relaxing. Relax your jaw, the muscles of your face. You can come out at any time, otherwise we're here for another 10 breaths. Every exhale, seeing if you can relax around the heart space, around the pectoral muscles, the shoulders, 
the throat, the jaw, the face. And relax into the mid torso around the stomach area, the ribs, and down into the lower abdomen. Notice if there's pockets of tightness and tension here you haven't noticed that you can actually release and let go. Let's take another three breaths here, more or less, but going at your own pace. And again, coming out earlier by rolling to one side. Beautiful. Staying for that last exhale. Now, depending on what feels good to you, taking the hips to one side, rolling to one side, and then sliding that away from you and coming all the way to your back, or simply arching the back and pulling it out, whatever feels more comfortable for your body. And just notice the back of the heart resting on the earth here, and again, sinking up your breath with that expansion and softening. If it feels better to have your hands down on your belly, then please do, or any other place. From here, we're gonna be drawing the knees in towards you, giving yourself a little hug here, and you can rock and roll from side to side. Coming back into stillness, left foot comes down as we draw that right knee in, and we're just gonna circle through that ankle, getting that range of motion in one direction. Get some snap, crackle, and pops in there. Let's take that round in the opposite direction. And then we'll take that right leg down, left knee draws in, give them a little hug. And then we'll circle that ankle here. And then back in the opposite direction. Beautifully done. And then from here, we're just going to take the feet down to the floor. Walk the feet nice and wide here. And then hands can be down by the hips in a cactus or a T. And we're just going to be rocking and rolling those knees slowly from one side to another, massaging over the back of the pelvis. Great place to stay there. Or taking the knees all the way to one side, the opposite hip lifts, and then all the way to the other side, depending on what feels really good for you. Don't be surprised if one side feels very different. And then the last option is to leave the knees over to one side. You can extend the opposite arm up and over and taking that length through the top knee side, even drawing that side hand over. So we get that length. Releasing any binds in the hands, taking it over to the other side in your own way. And again, you can extend the arm, the top knee away and up overhead, even drawing it over to one side so you get that kind of banana shape. Open through the heart space. Breathing, that steady breath. And then we release any binds coming back through the center when you're ready. From here, knees can knock in towards each other. And here we are in constructive rest. Great place to be. Option to stay here for relaxation or come to another shape that feels good for you. Any extra layers, any extra support underneath you, pillows, blankets, bolsters, anything you have handy. And as you take the time to start to come to rest, I will come up to a seat to guide you. Know that there is no wrong way to be here. 
You can be on your side, on your back, anything at all. Really giving yourself permission to do what it is that feels best for you in this moment. And then we settle in and settle down. Taking a full breath in when you're ready. Holding at the top. Exhale, letting it go. Inhaling, holding, exhaling and releasing. Letting go as we allow our bodies to sink deeper into the support underneath us. Allowing the bones to sink a little deeper into the earth. Joints are spacious, muscles of your face relaxed, the muscles of your body lengthening and loosening. Taking your awareness right into your heart space. And without controlling the breath, simply notice that natural expansion in the heart space and contraction of the exhale. From a seed into its bigger sphere as feels good for you at the height of the inhale and coming back to that beautiful seed. You can stay there with your awareness in your chest and heart space. And imagine right in the center of that heart space your favorite flower. And on the inhale that flower, the petals start to open, and on the exhale, there's that contracting and drawing back in as if it's evening time. Inhaling, expanding, exhaling, coming back together. And one of the next times that flower opens, simply leave it there as you breathe. The petals expanded, opening. And maybe with every soft, uncontrolled breath, those petals open a little further. Maybe it stays exactly as it is. And consider if there's anything in your world at the moment that you have closed your heart off to. And consider, instead of closing your heart off with a curiosity how that heart could open to your circumstance, just a little more, just around the edges, to soften into that circumstance. This is not about other people. This is about yourself and finding a quality of softness in your approach to something. Notice, even if it's 1% softer that you view that circumstance with, how does that feel? How does that feel to awaken a gentle opening? 
into that moment in time. Instead of building more walls or closing off from your awareness. It's not something you have to share with anybody else, but a sense of opening up to something that may, up until this moment, have felt very closed off. Notice the quality of that heart opening in your whole being. However much or little you have embraced it, there's no wrong way to do this. Each in our own time, at our own pace. And coming back to that expansion and softening and allowing your heart or that flower to stay open or if it feels better for you to allow it to soften and close those petals. And notice how that feels. Coming back to the breath in your body, the body and your breath moving together as you sense into the support of the earth underneath you in all the different places you are supported. Expanding the inhale just a little on the exhale, like a soft sigh, letting it go. Beautifully done. You can stay here for as long as you like. If you wish to finish up your practice, then allow those more mindful breaths to bring in awakening movements, your fingers and toes, maybe your neck. Maybe you want to stretch wide. Or curling in, giving yourself a hug. If your legs are extended, consider bending your knees, feet to the floor, or curling in like a ball, washing your knees from side to side, movement or stillness, what feels good to you. Guiding your body to a place that you would like to finish your practice and it may be exactly as you are resting. Or maybe you wish to take another shape. Making your way there generously and lazily as we find once again that earth underneath us and us cradled on the earth. Rooting to rise. Even if you're laying down, opening up through the heart space, hands coming to any gesture that suits you today to finish up. If you wish to, lotus mudra, pinky fingers and thumbs, connected, opening up like a flower, resting those thumbs right on your chest plate, your sternum. Take a big breath in and on the exhale, offering your chin down towards your chest, your heart, your beautiful heart. Connecting into that heart space, that expansion on the inhale, the softening on the exhale. And just pay attention, noticing what you have experienced today and giving a big breath of gratitude for that beautiful heart of yours. From my heart to yours, namaste.